Hola, buenos dias, good morning my beautiful people, welcome back to the channel, it's your girl here, Daniela, the artist formerly known as Four Lizard, I'm still gonna be Four Lizard, but just for a couple more days now, I think I'm gonna change the channel name, which thank you so much for all of your support and approval of my new channel name, I'm gonna change it in a bit here, but we're gonna just ride these last couple of days out as Miss Four Lizard. Anyway, I hope you're doing wonderfully. Thank you so much for all of your support on my 2023 planner lineup. And thank you to all of those of you who have subscribed from that video. I won't let you down. No promises though. And actually, I probably should have said buenas tardes instead of buenos dias because it is the afternoon for me, but I'm so just like autopilot. I usually film in the morning and so I immediately just spit out good morning. But it is the afternoon right now. The sun is setting. I just wrapped up work. I've been sitting at my computer all day. My back is killing me, but I'm here. I'm here and I'm ready to go. But how are you doing? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear what you all are up to. Let me know if you have any holiday plans. I think I'm gonna work one half day tomorrow, but then I think I'm gonna have to just try to relax and unplug and take some vacation. And the day after Christmas, I'm heading off to Sedona and the Grand Canyon with my boyfriend and his family. So I'm really excited about that. But anyways, I wanted to talk about the new Happy Planner undated winter release that happened the last week, I believe. I'm a little bit late on the train. I do want to put this video out as soon as the release happened, but you know, life gets in the way. Better late than never, am I right? So let's talk about this release. I really liked filming my like review of Happy Planner's last release, their fall release. I had a lot of fun with that, so I just wanted to stick with filming like my reviews on the release and please don't mind my filthy tank back here and my little scuba guy who just refuses to stay grounded i really want to get a new bubbler because this guy just he just he just doesn't stay in the substrate but that's going to be one of my projects over the break is cleaning up my tank I normally don't keep it this filthy. Anyway, let's get into the release. I have my laptop opened up here, balanced very precariously on a potted plant stand. Hopefully it won't fall over. Hopefully my pugs won't knock it down because it will get knocked down if anyone even breathes on it right now. I have the Happy Planner website open, so let's just scroll through and I wanna talk about the release. It was a smaller release. Thank God, because I cannot be buying any more Happy Planner things. I already have way too much stuff. For it being a small release, it was cute. It was cute. So let's go item by item. And I'm gonna try to pop pictures of each of the products right beside me so y'all can see what I'm talking about. First up is the Be Happy box. This is the Find Your Balance Be Happy box. Normally, I am a monster when it comes to the Be Happy boxes. I just love to get them. They always are just like great deals and usually exclusive, you know, items to the box, but I'm going to have to pass on this Be Happy box because A, it just overall doesn't speak to me. It's kind of revolving around these muted blues and you know how I feel about blue and mustards. It's just not my aesthetic. My aesthetic is very Lisa Frank and this is more like muted professional. This Be Happy box is very wellness oriented, which I appreciate. I love that the Happy Planner did that. But I already have a lot of Happy Planner things that are wellness oriented, which I like a lot more than what's included in this Be Happy box. So it's gonna be a no for me. Okay, and then the next six items are kind of a collection, I would say. These are the guided journals and they're undated and Happy Planner came out with, oh, actually there's only, Four, no, five. There's five new undated guided journals, but they all follow a format of an earlier guided journal, the yellow one. I actually really wanted that one, but it was sold out for the longest. And so Happy Planner released a budget journal, a guided goals journal, a fitness journal, a faith journal, and a recovery journal. And as you can see, they have very, very similar covers, which honestly I was not a fan of. I wish Happy Planner 
tried a little harder with the covers and differentiated them a little bit more, I think that would have been funner. I am not a fan of these covers at all. I honestly think they're kind of boring. That being said, I'm not getting any one of these undated guided journals. I think they're cool, boring cover aside, but I already have a lot of journals from the Happy Planner that I like just as much or even better than what they're offering here. I also don't feel the need for a budget journal. If I really needed to sit down and have a conversation with myself about how much I'm spending on Happy Planner and crafting supplies, I'm sure I can find some filler paper to uh, write down all of my deep dark confessions and stick it into my budget planner. I don't need a whole guided budget journal, but it's nice that they put it out, you know, it's an option. And honestly, that's kind of how I feel about the goals journal. I journal about goals already in my work planner or in my home life planner. The fitness journal, I already journal enough in my fitness planner. And if I need more space than what the fitness planner gives me, then I just pop in some blank filler pages, some journaling pages, and I'll use those. And same with the faith journal, I have a faith planner and the whole like idea behind the faith planner is journaling, so I don't need a faith journal on top of my faith planner. Okay, now let's talk about the actual planners. These are all undated. The first one up is the Matter of Balance Happy Planner. It's a classic wellness layout, and these all seem to be 12-month planners. The cover is cute for it being a blue cover. I, I do I like it. It's cute. It's very peaceful. It's perfect for a wellness planner. I do like the wellness layout. I think it's a really good layout. I have tried it here and there. I've never stuck with it for a very long time though. Wellness for me is something that I kind of fall in and fall out of. I think it really depends on how I'm feeling and what's going on in my life at the time, how stressful my life is. I do want to get back into wellness planning in 2023, but I already have my wellness planner and it is a stress management layout in the big size, so I think I'm going to pass on this planner. It is undated, so I could get it and, you know, hold on to it for a new year, but I'm really hoping that Happy Planner continues to release their stress management layout in subsequent years because I feel like that one is gonna really do it for me in terms of wellness. I'm excited to get to the stress management planner. Okay, next up is the horizontal layout of the bunch. This is the soft watercolor classic horizontal planner. Again, it's also 12 months and I really wanted to like this because I love the horizontal layout. I've been enjoying it immensely for my creative journal and I just like having a stockpile of horizontal layout in case I ever want to switch up any of my other layouts into a horizontal because I do love the horizontal that much. But I only wanted to get this if I loved every square inch of it because I have so much Happy Planner stuff that I'm at the point that I don't want to bring more into my collection unless I really, really, really like it. And I just don't like the cover, the discs, or the dividers. Honestly, I would probably only be getting this for the guts, the actual weekly pages themselves. And honestly, I feel like that's a waste. I'd rather just wait and see if a new horizontal is released that I like better. So I'm gonna have to pass on this one. Okay, next is the undated Look to the Stars classic vertical layout, also a 12 month, and this thing is gorgeous. I really, really, really like the cover. My sister-in-law actually got this planner for her 2023 planner, and she loves it. She was sending me pictures of it. And something that you can't really tell, I think, from looking at this online is that it's very holographic, very glittery. My my sister-in-law was sharing with me all of these photos of the planner and it's stunning, it's gorgeous. I was kind of tempted by it, honestly. The dividers are really, really pretty as well, although I wish that they were a little bit more sparkly and foily than they are. I wish that they had made a point to make this very like sparkly because stars are sparkly and so it should be more sparkly. I mean, I just want everything to glitter. But I'm gonna pass on this as well because I have a lot of vertical layouts. I don't need another vertical layout planner. I think it's stunning. If I see this in stores for like, you know, five bucks one day, I probably would pick it up. I do like it that much. But I don't think I would pick this up full price right now. I just have so much already in my collection. I don't really need this. It is very, very pretty. It's, it's tempting, but I think I'm gonna have to pass on this one. 
Okay, the next planner is the Undated Bright and Fun Happy Planner. This is also a vertical layout and it's cute, but again, not my style. It is bright and colorful and fun, exactly what the name implies, but it's just not for me. I do really like some of the dividers, but not all of them. This one actually reminds me a lot of the Bold and Bright planner, which was a dated horizontal planner. I actually do have that planner and I like it more than this one. So that one is going to be a pass for me. Okay, this is the planner that I really, really like. This is probably the star of the collection for me of the release. This is the Undated Playful Pets Happy Planner and it is a checklist layout. It's also 12 months and you know me. You know I love anything pet related. I loved the cozy critters. I have the colorful dogs planner. I have two pugs. I am a dog mama. I love all dogs. I have a lot of pets. I have fish. Um, I love feeling like I live on a farm. So this one is definitely up my alley. The colors are fun. It is blue. I mean the background is kind of teal and the discs are this baby blue, but I actually don't mind that at all. I mean ideally it would have been like a pink or purple background or even a yellow background, but I could live with the blue. The dividers are really fun, I really like this one, I think I'm gonna pick it up, but I might wait until it's in stores. I don't know if this one is gonna be released in stores. Let me see. Yeah, I don't see that it says that it will be released in stores. I'm not sure. But I would definitely wait until like a 30% off sale comes to the Happy Planner for me to pick this up. I don't want to buy it full price. So I'll probably wait on this one. And if I miss it, I miss it. But I do really want this one. I will pick it up eventually if I can, but only on a sale. And it's a checklist layout, which is fun. We don't see that too often. I do have um, one of the Miss Maker planners, which was a checklist layout, and it's a perfectly fine layout. I feel like the checklist layout is basically like a vertical with just like a checklist thrown in, and you can cover that up really, really easily. You can use it or not. I tend to have so many like checklist stickers already that I don't really feel the need to have like a checklist already printed on the page for me but I don't hate that there is a checklist on there like I will use it sometimes sometimes I won't but I don't mind the checklist layout it's a perfectly fine layout and actually I don't mind that it is a checklist because it's different I don't really work with the checklist layout a lot and so it's fun to try new things Okay, let's talk about the last three planners before we get into the sticker books. I'm going to try to speed things up because I feel like I've been talking way too much. Okay, next we have the New Beginnings Classic Vertical Happy Planner Undated 12 Months. This one looks like the homebody aesthetic that Happy Planner um, has released before. It is a cute planner. I really do like the homebody and the homebody seasons. I think it's very cozy. It kind of gives me like vintage farmhouse. I do appreciate the aesthetic, but I'm not gonna get this one because A, I don't really need a classic vertical layout. I already have a lot of vertical planners. If I needed one, I could just grab one from my collection. And I don't love the dividers and the whole like aesthetic that much that I need an entire planner. So I'm gonna have to pass on this one. Okay, the next one is the Good Things Classic Dashboard Happy Planner and it is a monochromatic black and white planner and you know that that is not me. I absolutely despise this planner. <laughs> it is way too boring for me. I would never, could not be me. Next. So moving on from that planner. The last one is the Classic Recovery Planner and it does have a very pretty cover, I would say. It's different. I do like it. It's different. But again, I don't really feel the need to have a recovery planner. I feel like a recovery planner is very like reflection focused, wellness focused, and I feel like I already have that with my stress management planner that I'm gonna get into in the new year. I have that with various journals that I have, so I don't really need this. Okay, let's talk about the stickers. The first one up is Essential Dates and Numbers. Very, very functional. I love that they came out with this and I'm definitely gonna have to get it because it's just so functional for dating or redating planners. So I think I'm gonna have to get this one. Yeah, it looks great. I'm very happy that they came out with this. I might even have to pick up two. Okay, next one up is 
bright clear essentials and i think this is the one sticker book that is printed on the clear pages so when you open it up you can't even like look at the stickers or really tell what the stickers are because they all kind of are just stacked up on top of each other i'm interested in this one i'm not like head over heels but i do really like the texture of those clear stickers v came out with something um similar with the i think it was called the beautiful blooms sticker book which i do have that one i do like like the texture of those stickers i think they're really cool so i'm interested in this one because it's that same style of sticker but in more like functional icons so i'm thinking of grabbing that one but again i'd probably wait until a 30 percent off sale on the website or something i don't think i would buy any of these like full price Okay, the next sticker book is the Let's Party sticker book, and this seems like it's a sticker book full of stickers to party. I don't really see the need for that in my life. I'm not that much of a party animal. I do have the Celebrate sticker book, which has a lot of like party themed stickers in it, and so if I really want to have party stickers, I could pull for that book. But yeah, I think I'm gonna pass uh, on this like Let's Party sticker book. Plus, I don't really like like the color palette in here. It's kind of muted, but it's not quite pastels, and so it's kind of eh to me. I think I'm going to pass on it. The next one is Seasonal Flowers, and this one looks very similar to the Seasons of Color floral sticker book that released a while back. I actually have like the big size of that, not the regular sticker book, but like the big size. And I only picked that one up because it was like $10 at my Joanne. It was like on extreme clearance. I do like it though, and I've come to appreciate it more, but it's definitely not like my all-time favorite sticker book. And so I think I'm going to pass on the seasonal flowers. Plus I already have so many floral sticker books in my collection that I don't really need another floral sticker book. Okay, the next sticker book is Mood and Mindfulness, and this one seems intriguing. I guess I would put it on my list of potential purchases because I love me a wellness sticker book. I love anything like wellness and self-care. I think I really need that in my life because I tend to stress myself out and and I tend to gravitate towards stressful situations. I'm an academic. My whole life is stressful, I feel. So I really like sticker books that motivate me to prioritize my self-care and my mental health. And this one has a nice color palette. It's kind of soft. It's very lovely. There's a lot of orange, it seems, in this sticker book, which is interesting because I feel like Happy Planner doesn't do a lot of orange, but it's not like a bright orange. It's like a muted soft orange, which is nice. So I think I would put that on my list. Okay, the next sticker book is Boldly You, and this one's very, very cool. It's very bright very graphic. There's a lot of contrasts with black and various bright rainbow colors and I think it's really cool and interesting and I would definitely pick this one up if I saw it in store slash if um, it was on sale. So I think I would put that on my wish list as well. It's a cool book. I, I think I would pick it up. And then the next sticker book is Playful Type which is I think their second sticker book that the release of like pure alpha letters and I definitely want to pick this up because I love me a good alphabet sticker book. They're very functional. If you're a paper crafter and a creative planner, this is like the bread and butter of um, planning. So I think I'm gonna go for it. I think I'll, I'll put it on my wish list as well. And then the last normal size, regular sized sticker book is the Paper Raven Co. collaboration. I think this is a collaboration with an artist with Paper Raven Co. And I think I would put this on my wish list as well. It's very soft, it's very whimsical, it's pretty, it's lovely. There's a lot of light blues and fun oranges. It's kind of leaning towards pastels, which, you know, that's my wheelhouse, that's my comfort zone, so I really like this one. I think the art is beautiful, and I just really like the artist collaborations a lot of the time because it's very different from, uh, like, Happy Planners or regular style, I feel, and you can definitely feel the difference, and I, I really like that. 
And the last item in the release that we're going to talk about is a sticker book and it is the large size sticker book. This one is called Gentle Reminders and it's again that larger size. And this one seems like it's all quotes or mostly quotes and it's exactly that, Gentle Reminders. So kind of wellness oriented and this sticker book is actually kind of giving me um, like homebody vibes as well. Maybe it's those soft like sages that kind of remind me of the homebody. I think I'm going to pass on this one. I honestly am not a huge fan of quote stickers. I don't use them very often. I don't gravitate towards them. Like don't get me wrong, I'm not a hater. I'm not against them. But for some reason, I don't really pull for them that much. And so I don't really feel drawn to this sticker book at all. So we're going to pass on that one. So just to recap, the items on my wish list are the Playful Pets checklist layout planner, the essential dates and stickers sticker book, the mood and mindfulness sticker book, the boldly you sticker book, the alphabet sticker book, the playful type, and the paper raven co sticker book, and we're a maybe on the bright clear essential sticker book. So I'm interested in five to six sticker books and one of the planners. But again, I don't think I would order any of this unless there was like a 30% off sale going on on the Happy Planner website or I saw them in stores and they were like 30-40% off. I just have way too much Happy Planner stuff. Like I don't need to be buying things at full price. I cannot be doing that. Anyways, let me know what you picked up in the winter release. I would love to know or if you have any of these items on your wish list. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye!